Hey guys, so iOS 5 got released today as I said and I have my avatar 4G that I got, you know, just like one day ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and click, uh, hit update there. Uh, okay, click next. Uh, approve. And obviously you need iTunes 10.5. So go ahead and update that by go to like help. And uh, look for updates. Also this is in Swedish, but um, it's saying 12 minutes. Uh, so that's, that sounds pretty goddamn awesome. <clears throat> yes, pretty got him awesome. So I'm not sure if it's gonna take a long time because I assume that Apple servers are pretty much bombed right now by people that want to update, and um, that, that's gonna be exciting to see uh, if I'm going to be able to update to iOS 5. Do, 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 do. 11 minutes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Only 11 minutes. That, that's pretty. Decent. I'm not sure how big the update is, but I assume a couple of hundred megabytes. I'm not sure if it just updates uh, the new stuff or if it, you know, just replaced the whole OS. <clears throat> so I have my um, two iPods here. Basically, I have my 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 iPod Touch 3G, 3G, and I'm not sure if I can update that one, but I assume I can. Hmm. Wait a second. I'm not, I'm not sure. Because I remember that uh, when Apple released iOS uh, 4, and then they ditched the iPod Touch 2G. So I'm not sure, will I be able to do it? Because I know the 3GS will be able to do that. But I think the 3GS is a little more powerful. Um, my little bad boy here is only have 128 megabytes. Um, while my iPod Touch 4G and iPhone 3GS have the same amount of RAM, 256. Yes, I know, that sucks. We should have at least, at least, yes, at least 512 megabytes of RAM. Um, and also, I think it's pretty funny that this year we only got like a new iPod Touch, a fourth generation iPod Touch white edition. I mean, come on, come on, Apple. I mean, isn't your iPod Touch your like gaming device? And then you show off on the iPhone on the keynote basically how good it is for gaming. And that it got better stuff than the iPod Touch uh, for, or you know iPod Touch, the current generation, uh, because it didn't release a new one. So obviously we need to use the old one to continue the game on iPod Touch. And I just think that sucks. I would love to see a new iPod Touch, 512 megabytes of RAM, and like the A5 processor. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That would be amazing. Zing. And it's gonna be interesting also to see if I don't think that the iPad 2 uh, with 512 megabytes or wait a sec, does it have 512 megabytes of RAM? Yes, I think so. Uh, but yeah, it have that 512 megabytes of RAM and the A4 chip. Or wait a sec, that, yeah, it have that A5 chip, that new iPad 2. Uh, if that one doesn't get Siri, then I'm gonna be kind of pissed off at Apple because I mean, that basically means that I mean, the iPad 2 is a little more powerful than the current iPhone 4S because it ha having that underclocked processor to 800 megahertz at A5 that, that I think the iPhone 4S is having um, so if Apple doesn't really Siri to the iPad 2 I don't really get what are they doing are they just trying to have that oh it's an exclusive feature and say like oh we, yeah we, we could have put it on the iPad 2 and like on the iPhone 4 uh, but you know who, who would buy <laughs> who would buy a new iPhone 4s but then I'm not sure um, and also these RAM thing is that uh, Apple never talks about RAM on their keynotes uh, basically does that basically mean that they are that they don't want to unveil it uh, I'm not sure if people, I mean, what happens if you confront one of those Apple employees that, that are over there on the keynote and ask what is the amount of RAM on this device? I'm not sure if you're allowed to do that, like question them stuff, because usually on the Apple keynotes, uh, you know, the audience, they just shut up, you know, because first of all, they are fanboys, you know, at least some of them, maybe have some haters there, but I think most of them are fanboys uh, that love Apple. And they don't want to question them because they know that Apple is always going to do the right thing. They never fail, okay? It's Apple. Apple. Yes. I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm just trying to talk here uh, to make the time go a little bit faster. Seven minutes to go. 
uh, almost 50% downloaded. Uh, as you can see, I'm running 4.1, the 64 gigabyte version. But yeah, I still get a little pissed off when I see it when I have like 59 gigabytes. Um, yeah, I mean they shouldn't market this as a 64 gigabyte version if you only get like 59. What the hell? And yeah, you can see my serial number there. Hope not someone will be able to hack that. Yeah. Uh, what else do we have? Yeah, seven minutes to go. So the update really doesn't seem like it's too large. Okay, I have a good you know, internet connection and everything, but um, I mean, if it's downloaded from the Apple servers, I know that iOS 5 has been out now for a couple of hours, so uh, people may not have that many problems right now. Maybe that fixed it. Uh, but oh my god, iOS 5 will bring some Android updates to iOS. Yay, like notifications. And then I'm not sure what is the fuss about this Twitter thing. Is it really that special? I, I don't really get it. I mean, I, I saw like uh, TUAV, uh, you know, on their website they had like a full iOS 5 guide and they were talking about Twitter for like, well, like 500 words about Twitter. Like, whoa, man, relax. It's not that special. Uh, yeah, because I don't really think it's so special. Okay, sure, you will be able to share stuff easier with Twitter. Woohoo, way. I'm, I'm not really sure. I mean, why is it so like special? So is Twitter going to be like extremely huge now in countries where it's not that huge yet? Because we know that when Apple, you know, implements something, everyone like, oh yes, this is magical, revolutionary. We've never seen something like this before. No, but I don't know. Um, so if I would be able to update my iOS, oh my god, should I update my iOS? Uh, my Apple Touch 3G, hmm. if it works, maybe, but I think it's going to be I think slow, it's only like 128 megabytes of RAM, but uh, maybe they have optimized iOS 5, Apple is really good at you know optimizing stuff and make it look good, at least if you go to the mobile version and the apps, if, if, if you keep yourself to the apps and mobile version, it works pretty decent. Gotta say, gotta say, gotta say, if you're watching this video, if you have updated to iOS 5, what's your opinions about it? Do you like it? Do you don't like it? Do you hate it? Maybe you do hate it. And uh, how long was like the waiting time for you? I, I hate that you can't really see like, you can only see minutes, you can't see like seconds. I, I assume that Apple, they don't like, you know, when you see seconds, that doesn't look simple, maybe. Yeah, uh, Apple makes wonderful products to you know play with. As I said, they're play with, not work with. And uh, yeah, four minutes to go. We're really close again. And I saw that. Okay, I'm running you know on iOS 4.1 right now. Um, my Avatar 3G is also on 4.1. But what I noticed was when when I went from like 3.1.3 to 4.1. It got like extremely slow. Uh, 3.1 was like magical, so I would love to you know to be able to get back to that. But I also remember that you don't get like multitasking, and uh, this multitasking thing is really uh, what makes the operating system more slow. And it's kind of amazing that iOS or Apple doesn't haven't you know had multitasking for that long, and that's kind of insane. But you know when you don't run multitasking, then like an iPhone 3G is kind of amazing. Uh, as a device to play around with and work with. Um, so, yeah, 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 yeah. And as you can see, I had a little early I was 4.3.5 update uh, that I didn't run. Uh, so, it's going to be a major, major step here from 4.1 to. Th to not th no, yeah, just only 5. And I also saw some people having problems with like error 3200 and something else like. 3000 something else uh, a problem when they were you know install try to install the update for the iPod Touch or maybe the iPhone 4s but I'm not sure doesn't like every iPhone 4s ship with iOS 5 I assume that they do and uh, obviously the new iPod Touches also will do that I'm just checking my Facebook feed here from my 3G and that's good when you have a lot of iOS devices you can do a lot of things at the same time Oh my god, the screen feels so tiny compared to my big Galaxy S2. Uh, one very bad thing about Samsung Galaxy S2, to be a little 
unbiased is that it takes a long time to load. Okay, my iPod, my iPad devices um, fully charge them takes like one and a half hour. My Samsung Galaxy S2 takes six hours like for fully charge and that's insane I think uh, but I'm using USB loading so I'm not sure if it uh, is going to charge faster when you you know just plug it into um, your you know your electricity in your home not use via a computer oh no we only see seconds 77 seconds why didn't they show all of those seconds before oh my god Oh my god, what I hate, what I hate iTunes, it's only one minute to go. It's gonna say one minute now when it's 60 seconds. No, it's just a final count, yeah, a final countdown. Um, let me know if you know what song that I was you know, trying to say there, kind of like, uh, but damn, 57 gigs, I mean 59 gigs, that's still a lot of memory. Uh, I was using my 32 gigabyte version, uh, my Potosh 3G, and I was kind of happy with it. Uh, but I, I want the biggest one, you know, if I'm gonna buy a new one, because I mean, I can't live without music. Music is the thing, okay? You need music for everything. I can't live without music. Maybe you can live without music. Can you live without music? Let me know, because I can't. Pictures, o dot o dot. Or do you say oh zero maybe zero dot zero dot or no zero dot kind of like not a dot but one of those other zero dot zero one gigabyte that is like isn't that like one megabyte no I'm not sure I don't, I don't want to think about it right now I don't want to think about it okay so yeah maybe that's ten megabytes yeah, I'm sure. Okay, so now it's basically okay. What what do they call this in uh, in English? Restore or safely backup? Yeah, backup. Security backup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, extracting program something iTunes up there. Let's hope I don't get an error because I may have to download it again then. And um, be oh my god. I can't update! Oh my god, I got that error that I was talking about. Oh my god. Are they for real? Are they for real? Oh my god. Are you for real? Oh my god. So I need to click on update again? Oh my. Mm. Oh my god. Do I have to re download it? Are they serious? Are they serious? No, but seriously, what the hell is this? Oh my god, Apple. Oh, wait. It doesn't have to re-download. Oh my god, that's good. That's good, that's very good. Okay, so... Oh my god, I got the problem that everyone is like having. Yeah. Oh my god! Okay. I'm gonna calm down now, and I think I'm gonna try a little later on. But I'm gonna upload this video right now, see if I can find a solution, maybe make a video about that, but... Oh, that's so effing annoying. Mm, fix this, Apple, please. I just wanna update my device. Fix more servers. Don't you have the cash? I know you have the cash, so... Yeah. Fix this. Please! Now I'm gonna upload this video to YouTube, and then I'm gonna try to find a solution, and then I'm gonna... If I find a solution, I would probably make a video about it. Because more people need help. See ya.